um, you know, it really, it really ends up being a normal week. I mean, we're, we're used to all kinds of things that change, and so we have to be ready to, um, to make adjustments and, uh, and, and be able to adapt to the situation. And I thought our guys, whether it was the players or the coaches, uh, did a good job putting a plan together. Um, the, guys were, the guys were ready. They were into it. Um, we just didn't play a clean football game today. Coach, did you get an adequate explanation from the referee on the penalty on DeWine on that punt return? Because it looked like he just bumped into the referee by accident. Yeah, um, what, what, the, what the official told me was on the return, like before the play was finishing, um, Smoot ran on the field and just he, sa he said he ran right into him, said he ran into him hard. I didn't see it. Um, he said he, you know, it, it was a, wasn't just a graze, knocked him, knocked him over pretty hard. So he, had, he felt like he had to call that. That was the explanation. Yeah, uh, you know, that, that's, that's one of, just one of the things to talk to the guys about. I mean, we, we can't play bad football. And that's, you know, guy on the sideline running on the field. It's just, just not good football. Darrell, could you talk a little bit about, obviously there was an intention to use James Robinson a little bit more here today, uh, but could you just talk a little bit about when you had third and 10 on their 11, why you had an inside handoff to him if you weren't, if it wasn't gonna be four down territory. That's just an unusual play call in that situation. Well, it, it, um, at the time we felt like it was, it was a four down territory. That's how it was playing it. And um, you know, we, we had a pretty, a pretty solid run. Um, then at the, at the end, you know, because we started to go for it, ended up turn, taking a timeout, just thought better of it, wanted to get points in that situ situation to, you know, to ha have something positive happen at the end of that drive. Hey, Coach. Uh, the offense struggled to find the end zone today. How is, is this something that's fixable in the last stretch of the season? I mean, this is some, we kind of talked about the offense feeling like it was in a bit of a lull. How do you snap that and get out of that kind of scoring drought? Yeah, uh, I mean, I thought, there was, I thought there was things that we did better today. You know, um, there, you know there, was, there was a little bit of explosion. You were able to find, you know, find guys. Uh, we were able to create some space for some people. But again, we just, we, there, there was opportunities to make plays. We didn't make some of them. I mean, we got to catch the ball. We got to throw the ball. Um, you got you know, we got to protect better and we'll be able, we'll be able to find the, find the end zone, but, um, it's just, it's on us to continue to improve. And how did it, this was your first game on the sideline with this team. How did it feel to be on the sideline calling plays with this, this group? Yeah, I thought it was really good. Uh, I thought the communication was, uh, was clean with, with all the, the coaches being able to go back and forth on the defensive line. Um, you know, the, the, our, our analytics guy up, upstairs was able to talk to him pretty cleanly. So I thought it went well for the first time out. Daryl back here. Uh, Right over okay. here. Uh, five drops today by your receivers and running backs. Uh, at now as the interim head coach, how does your conversation maybe change in terms of the urgency for the continued drops by the receivers for this team? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, I, you know, I just, I just told them in there. I mean, we have to play clean football, and we haven't been able to do that, um, whether, it's, whether it's the drops. You know, um, the one thing that I really preached with the guys was um, I wanted them to play 60 minutes and not measure the game, you know, because you, you have to be able to learn how to win. And these games in the NFL are, are razor, razor thin. And um, whether it's the drop passes, whether it's an opportunity right there on, I don't know what it was, third and nine to get a, to get a stop. We get a stop. The offense got a chance to go win the game. We give up a touchdown. Um, so, you know, those are, those are chances for us to, to make plays, uh, whether, you know, whether it's making a tackle, whether it's make, giving them good calls, whether it's catching the ball, whether it's throwing the ball, whether it's protect. We've got to clean that up, and we've got we to learn how to win, and we've got to learn how to win those close games, and then this thing will start to turn. So you did feel like there was almost a drop in focus in the fourth quarter? I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a drop in focus, but when you, you know, whatever it is, when you get your opportunity to make a play, you've got to make your play. And these, I mean, these guys are professionals. We talked about it before, and uh, we, we, ha we have to do, we have to catch the ball. That's your job. Um, you know, uh, a receiver, his, his description is to receive, you know, so he needs to catch the ball. Coach, back here, um, Houston threw for two third down touchdown passes, the first on the opening drive and then the second and another on the last drive. Um, what were some of the things that um, how, how do you get off the field in those situations and how critical is it to get off the field uh, in those third down situations? Yeah, you know, I just hit that on the last one. I mean, the last one is a huge play in the game. And, you know, after the, the, the whole game, after everything that happened, there's there's a chance for a one play opportunity. You know, if the defense makes the play, then the offense gets a chance to go win the game. So um, opportunity to make it. I believe in the first drive, we're off the field, right? We get, we get a, a, you know, a penalty that doesn't need to happen. And uh, we, we have to clean those things up. Uh, we got to make sure the guys understand that. Because um, again, you know, we're, we're killing ourselves. And uh, you know, it's going to continue to happen unless we clean it up. Hey, Coach, uh, now that you've got a full week to prepare, are you going to change the way you've been preparing so far this season? I know you mentioned you were keeping the status quo. 
back on Thursday, I think it was when you spoke. But uh, right. how is are there going to be changes moving forward from that standpoint? Yeah, I think that's something here in the ne you know the next 24 hours or 40, 48 hours that we'll be able to sit down and uh, um, really think about it. You know, like I said, after the game, want to be able to take a breath, um, see how see how things went, and then evaluate it from there.